Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord, and we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we thank you for, for those who sacrifice so much for so many. Lord, we come here to honor those who gave their lives, those who lost their lives and those who gave it. Lord, uh, we ask a, a special pr protection upon uh, the fire and police officers across this nation and that we always recognize and remember what a tragic situation we can be in in this nation when terrorists uh, attack. And that, uh, Lord, that you will guard, guard us and protect us and, and uh, all the acts that we do in our profession. And thank you, Lord, for the being with us this morning. All these things we ask in your most holy name. Amen. You know, we are indeed fortunate to be in a city that, uh, that makes a difference. We make a difference not only in our community, but in our state and in our country. And we're fortunate to have a great leader in, in Mayor Williams. And then we're going to ask Mayor Williams to come up and speak for a few moments to uh, reflect on the events of 9-11 and, and public safety in general. Mayor Williams. Thank you, Chief. Well, on behalf of the City Council, the first thing that we want to share with you is how much we appreciate our fire department and police department and the sacrifice and commitment that you make to keep us safe here in our community and the sacrifice that your families make for you to serve here and we are most appreciative of that. A couple of weeks ago my family uh, traveled to New York to see the 9-11 Museum. It was a very uh, serious reminder to us of how important our fire department and police department is and the sacrifices that were made on that fateful day. Uh, there are so many uh, uh, courageous stories uh, there throughout uh, that museum are told. And uh, it, it, you can't leave there without appreciating that much more your own firefighters and, and, and police officers. Thank you for what you do. I have a proclamation from the President of the United States that I'll read now. America will never forget the September tragedy that shook our nation's core 14 years ago. On a day that began like so many others, a clear blue sky was pierced by billowing black smoke as a wave of grief crashed over us. But in one of our darkest moments, we summoned strength and courage, and out of horrible devastation emerged the best of our humanity. On this solemn anniversary, we pause in remembrance, in reflection, and once again in unity. On September 11, 2001, nearly 3,000 men, women, and children, friends and neighbors, sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers, sons and daughters were taken from us with a heartbreaking swiftness and cruelty. And as we come together once more to mourn their loss, we also recall how the worst terrorist attack in our history brought out the true character of the American people. Courageous firefighters rushed into an inferno, brave rescue workers charged upstairs, and co-workers carried others to safety. Americans united in common purpose, demonstrating the spirit of our nation People drove across the country to volunteer. Donors lined up to give blood and organizations collected food and clothing. And in our nation's hour of need, millions of young Americans raised in a time of peace volunteered to don the uniforms of our country's military and defend our values around the world. As we remember all those we lost on that day, and the Americans who made the ultimate sacrifice in the wars that followed, we must strive to carry forward their legacy. In their spirit, let us resolve to move forward together and rededicate ourselves to the ideals that define our union as we work together to strengthen our communities and better our world. Now, therefore, I, Barack Obama, President of the United States of America, do hereby proclaim September 11th, 2015 as Patriot Day and National Day of Service and Remembrance. In witness whereof, I have hereunto 
set my hand this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2015, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 239th. In closing, I just want to share, let us do move forward together. Let us remember to honor our police officers, our firefighters, as we move forward. And let us commit to support them as they move forward to protect our city. I look forward to the can-do spirit of Arlington continuing to thrive and to make us a vibrant community. And thank you for what you do. Men and women of today's fire service and police service are confronted with a more dangerous work environment than ever before. That's clearly evident today. In the fire service, we are forced to continually change our strategies, tactics to accomplish our task. Our world is different. Our methods have to change. While our methods may change, our goals remain the same as we are there to, to protect the community. We're there to save lives, protect their property, and sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do. This is our chosen profession. This is the tradition of the firefighter. The fire service today is ever-changing, but it is steeped in traditions 200 years old. One such tradition is the sound of the bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that singled, signaled the beginning of that day's shift. And when a firefighter had died in the line of duty, Paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of that bell that so solemnly announced a comrade's passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols which reflect honor and respect on those who have given so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, a special signal of three rings, three times each, represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those that have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their task completed, their duties well done, to our comrades, their last alarm, they are going home. Please join me in a moment of silence. <laughs> 